Read on. For ye know how that afterwards. Yeah, afterwards, read on. When he would have inherited the blessing. Read on. He was rejected. Okay, so what is God telling us? He's telling us that the Gentiles are rejected, period. Okay, there's no place for them in the temple. Even if they want to get in, they can't get in. There ain't no room. Everybody understand that? Read on. For he found no place. Read it one more time. For he found no place. Read it again. For he found no place. Read on. Of repentance. Yeah, these are the only people that can't repent. They can say they sorry, but again, it's not going to be accepted. Can't repent don't mean that they, they, what do you mean I can't repent? I'm going to get on my knees right now and crawl around like a dog. Well, that's not enough. That's not enough. What that mean is whatever you do is not going to be accepted. Esau think he's repenting by calling himself a Christian. That's not accepted by God. He think he's repenting by calling himself a Jew. That's not accepted by God. Here it is, Moab and Amalek, or your, uh, or Ammon, calling themselves Christians. Like, that's going to be accepted by God. You know, none of that's going to be accepted by God. Read on. Though he sought it carefully. Though he did what? Sought it carefully. Meaning he was trying to find a way in. Seeking something carefully means you're trying to find a way. Everybody understand that? Read on. With tears. Yeah, but the Lord ain't look at them tears and, and, and his heart got broken because he saw cried, brother. You understand that? Esau could cry out until the you know, sun come up and go back down. He ain't going to never be part of the chosen. Do everybody understand that? Uh, everybody got that, right? Uh, Read on. Verse 18. For ye are not come unto the mount that might be touched and that burn with fire. Come on. Nor unto blackness and darkness and tempest. Let me tell you why I'm reading on. Because I'm going to tell you why Esau was crying out. Okay? It's telling you that this ain't, this ain't talking about the earthly glory of God. Because that mount that couldn't be touched with fire... Uh, with, uh, how did that read one more time? Read that again. Verse 18. Come on. For ye are not come unto the mount that might be touched and that burn with fire. Right. That's talking about Mount Sinai when the spirit of the Lord came down and, and glorified that mountain. Do everybody understand? This is not talking about the God and in, in, in the glory that he's going to put on earth. It's talking about God and the glory that he has in heaven. And Esau, what it's saying, when Esau was rejected, it's talking about from receiving the city of the living God, getting into heaven. Mm. Do everybody understand that? He's not getting into heaven. And according to what we read or what we're reading in Revelation chapter 11, none of the Gentiles is getting into heaven. This temple that we're talking about is the temple of the Most High God in the city of the living God that's in the heavens. Do everybody understand that? Everybody got that, right? Read on. Nor unto blackness Come and on. darkness and tempest. Come on. And the sound of a trumpet. Come on. And the voice of words which voice that they heard entreated that the word should not be spoken of them anymore. Yeah, they got afraid when the Lord dunded on them when they were trying to break through and come to that mountain. Read on. For they could not endure that which was commanded. Read on. And if so much as a beast touched the mountain, Read on. it shall be stoned Read on. or thrust through with a dart. Now, if God did this to a mountain on earth, which means he chose this mountain to, you know, make his appearance known on, and put the glory of God on. If anybody couldn't just come and touch that, how you gonna go into heaven and just walk up in there? You couldn't touch a mountain that God appeared on on earth. Do everybody understand what I'm saying? This is what it's point. That's what it's pointing now. And Esau, Esau definitely wasn't gonna get to that mountain. So how the hell is he gonna get into the city of the living God? Read on. Verse 21. Come on. And so terrible was the sight. That Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake. Read on. But ye are come unto the Mount Zion. Are come where? To the Mount Zion. Unto where? Mount Zion. Read on. And unto the city come on. of the living God. Everybody see that, right? Read on. The heavenly. The what? The heavenly. The what? The heavenly. The what? The heavenly. Read on. Jerusalem. Where's the heavenly Jerusalem at, everybody? Where's it at? So it's telling you how Esau can't get to the kingdom of heaven. That's what it's telling you. The same way it read in Revelation chapter 11 that none of the Gentiles is going to be able to get there. Do everybody understand that? Everybody got that, right? Read on. And to an innumerable company of angels. Yeah, you are come unto the Mount Zion, unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels. Read on. To the general assembly. To what? The general assembly. Read on. And church come on. of the firstborn. Okay, so that's us. So we see we got a spot in heaven. Right? Right? See, you can just save the doctrine of the devil and let's just flip the revelations. Let's just get to the end of the story. 
Let's tell you how this story ends. The story ends with the Gentiles being left out. There's no way you can get in, number one, if you can't understand how to get in. And remember how we started off reading this breakdown that we're going through. That dumb that are without, it is not for them to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. The mystery is how to get in. Do everybody understand that? How you going to get to the kingdom of God is in the heavens above the heavens. And it's given unto you to know how to get there. But to them that are without, it is not given. Who's the ones that's without everybody? Say it loud like you black and you proud. Say it loud. Okay, the Gentiles. Y'all understand that, right? But who has a place in there? Read it one more time. Tell them what verse you at. Verse 23. Come on. To the general assembly. To what? The general assembly. Yeah, these are the general mean. In general means all the tribes. All 12 tribes. As we assemble together to worship the Lord our God. Read on. And church. Read on. Of the firstborn. Read on. Which are written. Which are what? Written. Read on. In heaven. Come on. And to God. Come on. The judge of all. Come on. And to the spirits of just men. Read on. Made perfect. Didn't he say, be ye therefore perfect even as your father in heaven is perfect? Well, guess what? When you get to that city of the living God, the spirits of those just men will be made perfect. Everybody understand that, right? So it's telling us who getting in, and it started off telling us who cannot get in, even if they're crying like hell, looking for a way to get in carefully. And we know it started off with the number one, the number one nemesis, Esau. But it ain't just him. It's all of the Gentiles. Everybody understand that, right? Read on. Verse 24. Come on. And to Jesus. Who else is in heaven? To Jesus. Who else is in heaven? To Jesus. Who else is in heaven? Jesus. Read on. The mediator Come on. of the new covenant. Read on. And to the blood of sprinkling. Come on. That's speaking better things than that of Abel. Yeah, Abel just basically told Cain that he got to stop being wicked and, and, and repent and learn how to follow God. Christ came and died for the righteous. And showed them and gave them a conscience on how they can come back to the Lord. Read on. See that ye refuse not him. That Read it one more time. See that ye refuse not him. Read on. That speaketh. Read on. For if they escape not who refuse him that spake on earth. Okay, again, when he came down and he caused his glory to be seen on that mountain. And they couldn't escape that refuse him that spake on earth. Read on. Much more shall not we escape. Read on. If we turn away. If we do what? If we turn away. If we do what? If we turn away. Read on. From him that speaketh from heaven. Okay, now there's understanding. Understand where you're at and what you're into. You understand the truth is where it's at. And, and it is the truth because Christ came down from heaven. He said he ascended up to heaven. And he came down from heaven. You understand that? And if now that these words are given to you from the, the Messiah, the King of Israel, coming straight from the heavens telling you that I, I give a, the Father gave me a commandment of all the things that I shall say and all the things that I shall do. If you turn away from these things now, how you think you're going to get away? How you think you're going to get away? You ain't getting away. Read on. Verse 26. Come on. Whose voice then shook the earth. Read on. But now he had promised. He had what? Promised. Read on. Saying, yet once more I shake not the earth Read only, on. but also heaven. Come on. And this word, yet once more, Signify the removing of those things that are shaken. Read on. As of things that are made. Come on. That those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Okay, talking about removing Esau out of the way in the nation so that the Israelites can be set up in power. Do everybody understand that? Everybody got that? Okay, as one come down, there's another one that's coming up. That's what the Bible is. It talks about that all throughout the Bible. When you go to 2nd Ezra chapter 6, get 2nd Ezra chapter 6. All throughout the Bible. It's, it's amazing, like the, like the Apostle Paul said. He said, I marvel how, so, how you are soon taken, how you are so soon taken from the gospel of Christ. How is it that your mind gets so soon off of what the truth is all about? Somebody come to you with one false breakdown, and you think you ain't in the truth. Somebody come to you with one false accusation, and you think you ain't in the truth. 